Hello everyone. So let's continue to the third vulnerability of OWASP that is sensitive data exposure. So what is SDE? When any application or API do not protect sensitive data properly, like for example, user account details, credit card details or passwords, etc. Then SDE vulnerability arises. Also, if an attacker can view this sensitive data and get access to the internal network. Also, GitHub tokens and API keys which are being leaked onto the internet can also lead to sensitive data exposure. A very good example to this is a Snapchat report which was submitted by a security researcher on Hacker1 wherein he was able to find out a token which was indexed by Google and the token was into GitHub. So he reported that token and he got $15,000 of bounty, basically reward for that specific bug. So SDE can be very critical and dangerous. Also, sensitive invoices which are indexed by Google. There was again a vulnerability by PayPal in which the user's invoices were indexed by the Google crawlers and by hitting a right Google Doc onto the internet, attackers or security researchers were able to identify those invoices. This was also reported to PayPal and it was fixed. And insecure storage of data also leads to sensitive data exposure, which means if any website or owner is storing some of the important critical files, for example, db.conf which contains database credentials or login passwords.txt which contains the credentials into its server. Any user can try to get those files using a directory brute force. So why SDE happens? No proper access control over when exchange of sensitive data occurs. There should be proper access controls. Second, APIs are not properly protected. Unauthenticated APIs, which anyone can call for any user, also leads to SDE. Lack of robots.txt file, which is very important. As I gave the example of PayPal, wherein the crawler of Google, Google crawler, was able to crawl the invoices. Okay, so robots.txt file is a file in which we can write a set of rules which will tell those crawlers what can be crawled from the web web websites and what cannot be crawled. So lack of data strip when saving at server is also what can happen because of SDE. What can be achieved by sensitive data exposure? Sensitive information of user as we all know which can also be transaction details, passwords, etc. API, API keys, which can also be achieved by sensitive data exposure. These types of keys, generally developers make mistakes and leave these types of keys and tokens into their GitHub repositories. Attackers can also get the tokens of internal portals, which are only accessible to domain admins. Sensitive information like passwords, SSH keys, aka anything that is sensitive, if you get it, falls under the category of sensitive data exposure, which can be misused further by an attacker. So how do we fix sensitive data exposure issues? The first step is don't store sensitive data unnecessarily. Next, make sure to encrypt all the sensitive data at rest. If you are having any sensitive data at your server, just make sure you encrypt everything with a strong encryption and a private key. Disable caching responses that has sensitive data. So disable any application caching any types of responses into their browsers. Do not put any keys, tokens in GitHub or anywhere in the server. Implement access control for users. So a functionality known as maker checker, 
this is a functionality which is generally used in banks where a maker is the person with low privileges and checker is the person with high privileges so if the maker is able to bypass those privileges and is able to get the privileges of the checker which means the higher privileges bypassing this access control can also lead to sensitive data exposure issues thank you